I'm Carrie. Um, this is going to look a little bit funny because I'm using my boyfriend's fish cam. So it kind of looks a little bubbly, but it's what I've got to use. So anyway, I will be doing the coin experiment where we were talking about inertia and gravity and how we talked about how the gravity or how things are pushing up and down called support force which holds the penny up because it's sitting on the index card and so the card is pushing up on the coin while gravity is pushing down so it's holding the coin in place. If we remove that support then gravity pulls the coin down. So right now the penny is in a state of inertia but if a force acts upon it, falls down into the cup. So even though the penny is, or an object is moving with the upward force of the card when we flip it up, once the card is removed, gravity pulls it down into the cup because gravity of course is stronger so now this is that was the penny this is the washer which is a little bit heavier than the penny and a little bit harder to do <laughs> because it's heavier than the index card there we go <laughs> um, So then we're going to try the, the piece of sandpaper. Now the, sand, the, the index card is smooth, the sandpaper is not, so it creates more friction, which makes it a little bit harder to do. As you can see, it doesn't go, even though the penny is lighter, it doesn't fall into the cup as easily as it did with the index card. Now we're going to try the washer. So we have friction, but the washer is a little bit heavier. So because the friction causes a horizontal force that moves it away from the cup, which makes it, well, that time it went in. <laughs> um, so this demonstrates inertia because the penny or the washer is at rest, being held at an upward and a downward force until that is removed and then it starts moving and falls into the cup downwards because of gravity and I think that's it. <laughs>